Hello everyone. In this video we're going to look at um, how to access and download uh, the SQL Server data tools for SQL 2016 in March of 2017. So the reason why this video is necessary because Microsoft has just recently released Visual Studio 2017 and um, because of that they're really trying to get people on board with it. Now we want the SQL Server data tools. We'll do a search. We'll find this option to download the data tools. So, so far so good. And we come over here and we start reading through it and we note that it says download Visual Studio Community Edition 2015 or download Visual Studio 2017. Again, this is a, this is brand new as of a couple days ago here in the middle of March 2017. Now the thing is, is that often in your schoolwork, the, the other computers do not have the latest version that came out a few days ago. In fact, usually it's six months or a year before the new version is used. So in, in that case, I'm recommending people use the older version at least for a while. Now when you click on this to download the Community Edition, you'll notice that it, it brings you to Visual Studio 2017. That's not what you want. You want 2015. <clears throat> um, if I click on that, it takes me to the thank you for downloading page. But again, there's no indication of how I can get back to 2015. I find this kind of annoying, but what can you do? I'm going to go over to the Visual Studio Community Edition. And oh, actually, it looks like I was already there. In a second, it's I'm looking for a different button. Hmm. They have about three or four different web pages. Uh, let's see, the one I'm looking for is, um, let's see, here we go. This is the one I'm looking for. So I clicked on the downloads option. Visual Studio downloads, and you can see here we've got Visual Studio 2017, but down at the bottom, I have an older versions button. Clicking on that will take you over to the older versions. So now I'm actually getting pretty close. If I belong to a company and they've paid the, the money for the MSDN subscription, I can go there, but most of us don't. And we're just going to come in on, on our own our own private account. Um, to do that, they want you to sign up for Dev Essentials. Now, Dev Essentials is a sweet little program that gives you free software. And um, it's certainly worth joining. It only really takes you a few minutes to do so. Once you have joined, you'll be able to, to come over and download software. Uh, but you'll notice that when you get there, the Community Edition is, uh, actually it shows up usually a little bit better, but the community edition that they have here. Oh, come on, refresh. Is 2017. And that's not what we want. Now, uh, you also notice that in this particular screen, I don't see 2015 anywhere. Again, you have to come up here to the Downloads option, click on that, and then finally you can locate Visual Studio, um, let's see, I know you're in here, 2015, come on, right here, there it is, Visual Studio Community Edition. 2015 with update spring. That would be the, the one you download. Now the reason why we're, we're downloading this is because Microsoft recommends before you install the SQL Server data tools uh, that you go ahead and download and install the Community Edition first. And then after that uh, you go through and, and do the download of the SQL Server data tools. If you don't do that, it will go ahead and install Visual Studio 2015. At least according to this, it will. And um, but you only have some of the 
features. It won't be complete. So I'm recommending that you do install Premiere Edition 2015 uh, Visual Studio and then go through and uh, download the um, SSD team. Clicking on that link and either choosing to do the, the short installation or just download the ISO and unzip it and install it. Um, either way will work, but that's the, the biggest thing right now in March of 2017 is the challenge of finding and installing Visual Studio Community Edition 2015. Hopefully uh, that helps people. Take care. Thank you.